Man, I love random shoot days. Got a call this morning from my man, Eric Crocker, who played in the NFL. He's also like a famous podcaster, so you can look him up and uh, call me. He said he got a couple athletes flying in. Uh, wanted me to get some video of them, so got the little Sony a7 III. Just waiting on them to get here, so let's shoot this cool little uh, workout highlight video real quick. Wait. Look, why you mad? Get to the bag. Long face, get the case, get the cash. I've been living fast. Still far from average, real talk. This shit is right outside where I get mad. Young, black, and rascal. Catch me with a lab, be young. Make the slap that make nobody do magic. Most doubt to my bank account magnets. Looking like I'm still running paper routes backwards. Money bags, no advance. Snap back like a rubber band. Pretty thing with a suntan, make it bounce back when you do the dance. All my songs, we should to pick. So your things through a different lens. Different fast. Only one chance, never pants, how we do the plans. Right? I practice what I preach. Right now you're put around my way, think you lost to see. I'm not sure what you wanted, but I want your need. I know my life is like that I hit a peak. Yeah. Wait, you just wanna blend in. Big flex, how I do the syntax now that I got the attention. I'm the breaking make it really hard. I just wanna be friends. Treat the night like a video for what's coming next on the city. After I got all the shots, I asked Eric, do you want this in like normal, like 16 by 9 ratio, or do you want this in the form of a reel? And he was like, ooh, ooh, do a reel. And so a lot of times that makes it easier on me because I know it only can be like a minute long or now, now I think they're a minute and a half for Instagram. From a technical standpoint, I use my go-to sports lens, my 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master. You just never know going into shooting sports how close you're gonna be able to get to the athletes and you never wanna be in the way and so that's a must this would be what I would bring normally but I also knew because it was just a workout I would be able to get pretty close and so I wanted some gimbal shots so I brought my Tamron 28 to 75 f 2.8 so I mixed these up it's probably half and half honestly on this reel uh, I can't remember exactly what shots were which but any ones where I'm moving pretty fast or running with the athletes obviously I'm using the gimbal and have this lens on this being a minute long video I wanted to go kind of through a full editing breakdown uh, so let's play it let's play it see what we got here opening shot of Eric right there nothing special okay this is a film mat that I've used before in other videos where you can see two shots at the same time kind of some retro vibes going on but instead I just flipped it and made it vertical by rotating it 90 degrees and then overlaid it uh, let's see what it was on the composite mode was on overlay right here and you always want to shoot with the edit in mind so I knew I wanted to do this and so I got a headshot and a foot shot um, to kind of put the two together there always shoot with the edit in mind if you have a cool idea in your head I don't usually write things down. I just kind of do a mental shot list, which comes like to bite me a lot of times. But, you know, however you need to remember it, just remember it. I'll say this only once, so I'm just not repeating myself and being annoying all throughout the remainder of this tutorial, but there's sound design all in it. So pay attention for that sound design. There's film projectors, film clicks, things that I'm used to for the digital effects. There's whooshes and glitches and those types of things. Always combine your sound effects with your visual effects so that they go together. The next clip here, I just have a lot of overlays throughout this video just to make it a little bit more interesting and just to add to it. It is an intense football workout, so just added those things for a little bit more effect go here speed ramping uh, that's all throughout the video not only did I mix up my lenses I also mixed up my frame rates I shot mostly at 120 frames per second you can slow that down to 20% here but I also shot at 24 frames per second to get that natural motion blur and a good cinematic look but as far as my speed ramps go when I ramp into another clip uh, I go from 20% and to about 110%, it makes it look a little bit more natural, like the athlete's moving faster. It's not, it's not cheating. It actually, it actually just, just looks better. And so, 20% to 110. That way, that's like the most drastic change that I can have in a speed ramp. I like it that way. Some people might go at like. 40% speed, but I go all the way down to 20. If I'm gonna shoot at 120 frames per second, I'm gonna get all I can out of it. All right, so we have a combined overlay and um, camera shake transition here. I use this camera shake a lot. It is built into DaVinci Resolve. Like if we go here to open effects, we can find it. Let me search for it. 
camera shake right there a really good effect especially for sports videos i've done a video just specifically on three transitions that i use a lot and this is one especially for something intense uh it just makes it flow makes it better so going here i got another speed ramp plus camera shake transition another speed ramp and then boom camera shake again if you haven't seen this video on this flame effect i did a tutorial just for this in my very last video so check the channel shameless plug i'm not i'm not i have no pride in this shameless plug this was obviously a gimbal shot i set manual focus on eric teaching and just walked around him did kind of just a cool like circle around the athletes as he's talking to them here and when they were doing these drills here's one thing i've learned from shooting and editing sports videos you can get multiple angles and make it look like you have like two or three cameras going because a lot of times, especially in these workouts, it's very repetitive. And so they're doing the same drill over and over again. And so one shot I have Eric like instructing the drill the next shot i have the athlete running the drill so i didn't have two cameras going but you can almost make it appear like that because they're doing it over and over and over again don't just get the athlete the whole time don't just get the coach the whole time get both of them also mix up tight shots medium shots wide shots you can make it look like you got a whole camera crew out there and you're just a one-man band a little simple quick tip makes it look really good oh here's something really good uh that i noticed some people doing i got inspiration from other video creators this is a kind of a zoom transition uh, that i see people doing a lot and i really really liked it so i'll go here and right before this clip in right before he catches the ball i have a keyframe right here i am one two three four five six seven eight frames from the end of the clip and just started it right here set a keyframe and just zoomed in adds a little bit of effect i was wondering why some people's videos just look better than mine i started noticing they were kind of subtly using this it's one of those things that's like your brain knows you like it but technically you don't know why you like it and so that may be one thing that you can add to some of these sports videos it's another regular shot using two angles of eric teaching there and a couple more just other drills with some overlays film burn transitions again eric instructing the drill the athletes running the drill uh, last thing I'll say, here's our last shot here so we can finish it up. Uh, last thing that I'll say is because this was a short and we're doing a vertical video, I had to keyframe the athlete a lot. Um, filming it, like I said, I, I kind of was using the rule of thirds and had the athlete on either the left side or the right side. But in this, I wanted everything kind of center frame because it is a vertical video. So I, I, had, to, I had to set keyframes all throughout just in order to keep the athlete in the middle of it i thought it might create a little bit of like a, a jiggle almost some like micro jitters in the video but it didn't so uh, if you're doing a reel or a short you can use keyframes and just keep the athlete in the middle of the frame the whole time one thing too that i forgot to mention about sound design is that i will always 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 use the ambient natural sounds that are coming from the camera body into these videos because there is really no story like you can watch this for a minute but you can't watch this for 60 minutes right because there's no story it's just visuals and music and then there has to be sound so that you can get the atmosphere of the video it's going to take away from it if you don't include those natural ambient sounds in there i think that covers it if i miss something ask me in the description down below a lot of times i watch these videos back and be like oh man i forgot to talk about that so if there's one thing i forgot to talk about forgot to mention uh let me know ask me um other than that my name is cj if you're new here i'd love for you to subscribe and follow along i'm in the filmmaking photography video editing photo editing everything that has to do with that okay bye